the previous method for converting a number from base 10 into base 2 is, works pretty easily for relatively small numbers up to about four digits. If you get a number bigger than that and you want to try to convert it by hand, uh, it's not quite as easy to use that method. So we're going to look at a different method. We're going to use the same number. We're going to take the number 725. Okay. Now that's an odd number. And if it's an odd number, that means there's going to be a 1 in the 1's column. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to divide that by 2. And I'm going to get 362. And my remainder uh, is going to be 1. Okay. And that is what's going to go in the 1's column of my answer. Now... What I've done is I've divided the number by 2, and if I divide it by 2 again and take the remainder, uh, then this is the remainder that I would get if I divided by 4. Okay, so this is 181, and it has a remainder of 0. So when I divide by 4, there is no remainder. That's going to go into, uh, didn't mean to write the 0 again, that's going to go into the 2's column. Okay. And we keep on doing this. So I'm going to divide it by 2 again. And now, in effect, what I've done is I've divided the original number by 8. And I'm going to see if there's a remainder when I divide by 8. If there's a remainder when I divide by 8, then that will be in the 4's column. So, uh, so we divide by 2 here. We get 9, 0. And we get a remainder of 1. And that is going to go into the 4's column. And we keep on doing this. Divide by 2, and you get 45. Uh, with a remainder of 0. That's going to go in the 8's column. Uh, divide by 2 again, I get 22 with a remainder of 1. That's going to go in the 16's column. Uh, divide by 2 again, I get 11 with a remainder of 0, and that's going to go in the 32's column. Divide by 2 again, I get 5 with a remainder of 1. That's going to go in the 64's column. Uh, divide the 5 by 2, I get 2 with a remainder of 1. That's going to go in my 128's column. And I divide by 2 one more time, I get 1 uh, with a remainder of 0. And that's going to go in the 256's column. And if I divide by 2 one more time, I get 0 with a remainder of 1. That is going to go in the 512's column. So. We should be able to check our work here again. Uh, we've got a 1. We've got a 4. We've got a 16. We've got a 64. We've got 128. And we have 512. So there's 10, and there's 10. That's 20, and 4 and 1 is 5. And I carry my 2, 2 and 1 is 3 and 6 is 9, 10, 11, 12, and carry the 1, I get 725. So uh, what you do is you take these remainders and uh, we write them down from right uh, to left. So as you're, as you're doing this, uh, we get the 1 here first, so that's going to get put over there. Then there's a 0 in the 2's column, then there's a 1 in the 4's column, uh, then there's a 0 in the 8's column, and a 1 in the 16's, and a 0 in the 32s, and a 1 in the 64s, and the 1 in the 128s, and a 0 in the 256, and a 1 in the 512s column. And so that is another way to easily convert a number from base 10 into base 2.